the 2018 parliamentary elections in Slovenia are a thing of the past. Both the previous and current governments came to power legally. We have been listening to people for a long time that they have stolen our country, that they are stealing our democracy. However, there are far too few words about the policy of negative selection and the appointment of political personnel to professional positions. In short, there are double standards. Nothing new. And if they are not in power theirs, then a government that has a different policy must be overthrown. It is at this time that various NGOs are whistling at the current ban on mass gatherings due to the coronavirus and are trying to overthrow the current JJ government with the bicycle democracy, Friday protests, with the Truth Rally 2020, apparently causing them fear of losing the privileges they had under the left government. They accuse the government of corruption, repression, totalitarianism, as if only this government is to blame for everything that happened badly after 91 in Slovenia. According to the media, we are constantly bombarded with words of concern about the resurgence of fascism, and nothing is said about the red fascism of left-wing politics. The last protests were under the slogan you will not take away our freedom. The words down with the government, thieves, thieves. The bicycle minority demands the immediate resignation of the JJ government, with which it does not agree. In 2012, we were able to watch the gambling granite revolution, with which they also tried to overthrow the JJ government because, just like today, they do not like a different policy. There is a lot of talk in the left-wing media about the rise of right-wing populism in Europe, but it is forgotten that just like right-wing extremism, left-wing extremism, which they themselves represent, is dangerous. The fact is that there is no far right in Slovenia. As soon as this government lifts measures over the coronavirus, protests are likely to continue without cycling. More serious and mass demonstrations, however, are expected in the autumn, when the economic situation will deteriorate. And something from the column remember, comrades, it must be clear to everyone that we, the communists, are in power here, because if it weren't for us, there would be someone else, but this is not the case and never will be. Words by Stain Dolak, Secretary of the Executive Bureau of the Presidency of the League of Communists of Yugoslavia, September 9, 1972 and Split, Source Mladina.